Hey, you tubulous, what's going on? EXO coming at you here. We've got Frankenstein laid out, ready to be worked on. Oh boy, you must be wondering what the hell could we be doing on this additionally? Well, there's lots more we could do, but for today, we're gonna be adding some JY power, baby. That's right, straight lithium to the dome. We're gonna have 280s somehow uh, put back here. Who the hell knows how we're gonna fit it? But that's why I threw the camera on just now. We're gonna try our best to fit 280 amp hour JY lithium power cells. It's gonna be four cells on this side, four cells on this side to make two banks of 80 amp hours. And boy, our oh boy, our bus bars are already looking the part, but can you imagine even more connections on those things? Our Crescendo 5500s are definitely feeding the juice, but we can improve things a little bit more with some lithium. What do you say? Let's figure this damn thing out. Well, just standing here scratching my head on some ideas, and I don't think it's gonna be that hard, guys. Here's here's what I'm here's what I'm working with. I think we're just gonna have some little pieces of two by four standing off in these places right here that I've already kind of separated a little bit from the wire. Boom, boom. So have a platform laying across all of right here, and then just have our battery sitting right there. Remember when I was gonna have them tucked way down in the corner on this side of the truck and have to plumb through all 40 runs through here? I don't even think that would fit. Like physically, I don't think the wire would fit through that hole. So we're gonna have to work around that and put them right here center stage. It'll look pretty much the part because the green is just about the same color as the cells. What are the chances of that? And everybody was wondering why I chose red and green. I just friggin' like it. Let's go ahead and go to the spare bin of life. Look at that, two by three. We may even use this or this two by four right here. Just cut a little pieces right and then throw some carpet on it so we don't have to see what they look like. fancy just some simple standoffs to get the job done just need to deburr them a little bit before we carpet them with our budget loctite spray we usually do super 77 but this stuff was actually like three bucks cheaper and it works fairly well on this cheapo carpet that we got from bargain express me whatever i don't even remember what the name was we're gonna use this recycled piece from our drop and hertz woofer box on only the parts that we're going to see. So there'll be some bare spots, but it's only because I want to save as much carpet as I can. You can see she's got some bald spots on there, but it's for a purpose. So let's go ahead and test fit. Test fit? Oh man. I probably should have test fitted before I carpeted these things, but we measured it with a tape and I mean, it's, it, they'll fit, they'll fit. Now luckily I remembered which one is which because they go in order from smallest to biggest. So I'm just gonna stick them like that and now it's number one, two, three, and four. They'll just slide right in where I need them to go. There's the first one. Here's the second gap. We'll use this right here. And we want both sides. I know I fucked up a little bit on that, but what can you do? You're not gonna see it. That will go just like that. There's two. Piece of wood going right across this. Number three, nice and tight in there. And then, number four. Gravity's gonna be doing most of the work, but we're gonna be tying into the car, and it'll be a single piece once we're done with it. I'm not quite sure how we're gonna angle it into this nice little accent because it does look really nice. I like this little circle part that we did, that little radius. So I'm gonna try to incorporate something like that into the piece that we cut. We just gotta go over here into our never-ending supply of scraps, figure out some piece that we can find to use. Hey, what are you doing back there, you little sneaky devil? Some nice half inch MDF guys, and we should have two of these behind all that nice 11 ply. So if I can use something like this 
and finagle two pieces across, we should have a nice stable platform. I don't know where it'll meet up, but let's just say this side goes in there first, there, and then the next side could join up right on this side. And once we, you know, screw it in, and then screw it into the car with some points, some anchor points into the metal of the vehicle, and then let gravity do all the weight with our supports under here with some screws going down, it'll be more than enough support. I mean, after all, I have no worry about those batteries just resting on top of these AGMs. They're really stout, nice hard cases, and they only weigh like, what, like 30 or 40 pounds a piece. You know, those batteries are really lightweight. figured out exactly what I wanted guys following suit with this little accent with our circular cuts there all hand done on our jigsaw we're gonna do the same damn thing that's right we're gonna bust into the old trusty and just do a nice something like this cut in and then do a nice little rounded over edge because we're gonna have battery supports coming up at an angle right here so the JY's don't move you know back and forth and do the same thing right here just add a little decorative cut coming alongside in fact here let's do it right now I'll show you what I'm talking about I don't want this to be a hard edge back here and a lot of it is already you know supported and it doesn't need to be there because the batteries only go over so far so what if we went in like this this is left-handed sorry and then came in like that that was left that's pretty damn good for left-handed guys holy shit looking for guys all cut up with the jigsaw and did a little bit of sanding to make those edges just a little bit softer for us we're gonna be carpeting it but I'm not 100% sure which areas are going to need carpet because the JY's are gonna be sitting you know right here I don't want to have to waste product you know what I'm saying so what do you think there's the first part down so let's just go ahead and fast forward and do the same exact uh, mirror image on another piece of MDF we just need to find it behind our other pieces of wood and then stick it in like the twin right here against this so we can get some more anchor points into the metal the battery rack is coming right along another piece pretty well cut should fit in here just pretty snugly on our second support and it doesn't matter if it has a little bit of wake room there oh nice matched up pretty well there now we'll slap some carpet on that. Oh God, the wind's picking up. Slap some carpet on there and it should be working out right as rain. Those little battery supports I was telling you about, I wanna cut them at a nice little uh, angle, kind of like a half circle that you see right here. Keep it nice and tight with our jigsaw along the line, but uh, it'll probably just be some half inch. So we'll probably go back to scrounging in our bin. Found some more little pieces like this of the half incher and it should do for at least one little portion or at least to let me explain what I'm trying to do here. If I were to put this right along here where you see that little red mark that I marked out and I want there to be a nice little angle, well not angle, just a little curve. Say if I went right into this curve so it would almost make it look like it's one, you know, one running line if, if you will. So I can't really do this one one handed because it'll knock the piece of wood over but let me pause the video real quick, figure out where exactly I want that and just draw it on there. There we go. Gradual enough to be not so in your face, but intense enough to know that there's a nice curve there. Little bit of sanding, 
and it should match up perfectly. I mean, shit, I like it. I think it worked out just fine. These two pieces are independent of each other, but once everything's all tightened down, it'll be one big unit. You can't see the two by fours under there. Let's back up a little bit. I'm sure they would have been an eyesore uh, before we put the black carpet on there, but all of this is gonna be tuned up real good and uh, you know, look in the part. So what do we can do now? We have a little extendo piece that we need to fill in right here. Um, but that's no biggie. Let's get that over with real quick. Just did a quick switcheroo on what side we were test fitting to make sure everything's good on both sides. It's looking like 24 inches and then an extra little bit of space here for our decoration, if you will. I don't know. I just really like the way it'll look and it, I think it will help the wires kind of plumb into the backside for the positives when the JY is actually on there. But we'll see when we get there. Yeah. 